I actually will not get on the scales anymore because they, to me, um, they really are like a, a stick to beat me with because I would get on the scales and I'd either been good or I'd been bad. Yeah. And depending on where my weight has gone up or down, and in the biggest disaster if my weight went up by a pound or two, then I would binge to try and make myself feel better about being overweight. Yeah, yeah. the fact and you it took me failing. years, yeah. Yeah, years and years and years to make the connection that they were actually, I had become literally a slave to them. Mm. Yeah. So I don't weigh myself anymore, but Mark does. And do you know what? I can tell when I come down the stairs whether he's weighed himself or not by the atmosphere around him. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because you don't think of men having that, the yeah, same sort really of attitude. Yeah, he's really fit, he really looks after himself, but he too is a slave to those. I don't know why we've still got them in the house. Slave to them. No, I, I, I bet you're think, like that, aren't you? I don't think you should have them in how I used to be, but like you said, you get on and go, but I've been really good this week and I've put a pound on, so you yeah. are... You yeah. are relating it to good or bad. Um, and, no, I wouldn't have them in the house now because I think they can make you give up, you know. Yeah. You think, oh, it's not working, I'm going to give up. And then people don't realise, especially if all of a sudden you're exercising and all that, that yeah. muscle so weighs more than moment. fat. So, you know, yeah, you might have put a pound on, but you've been working out more. You know, yeah, I think yeah. you know. So with this weight loss that you're doing, not diet, yeah. you're doing, but this weight loss plan, are you not going to weigh yourself at all? No, I had that displeasure when I went and had my medical. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it left you feeling a bit depressed. Well, it left me feeling really, really confused because yeah. I don't understand kilograms. So <laughs> I came out of there thinking, oh, that doesn't sound too bad, until I got on the show. And then he said, oh, it's about just over three stone that you need to lose. Yeah. But it's and I thought it just sounded like a few pounds. Right. <laughs> it's interesting because it is actually used by people in the medical profession mm. as a sort of a barometer, isn't it, for sort of BMI, BMI and fitness? Because yeah. they weigh. I was weighed when I was pregnant, yeah. and you obviously yeah, weighed yeah. when you had a medical. So mm. it, it obviously mm. is I won't let some my sort of tell line. Me if he weighs me. So can I weigh you? I say, yeah, as long as you don't tell me what it says. But how, when did you? But when when he did says you two? Fatty, you <laughs> when did you two start weighing yourselves? Can you remember how far back? Were you quite young? Oh yeah, when as I was far young. back as I can remember. Yeah, yeah, when I was young. And every other diet I've done in the past have always. I think the problem is if they're in your house, you tend to jump on them every. You know, half an hour, you walk past them, oh, I'll just get on the scales. You know, and, and they're a different weight every time you get on them. And it demotivates, doesn't it? Because you could have, the day before, gone to the gym, done a workout, out really well, and you get all excited, mm. you get on the scales, and yeah. for a whole host of reasons, you might be a pound heavier, and then you just feel But also, it depends what time of, time of day you weigh yourself. If I, I do yeah. weigh myself occasionally, I'm not a, a, a slave to it, but if I do, I make sure, it's first thing in the morning, I've just been to the loo, <laughs> and I'm standing with one leg. <laughs> <laughs> With a smile. With a smile. <laughs> <laughs> you never go at the end of the day when you've got a big old yeah. full belly of, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, biscuits, you know. Do you know I once went to Weight I'd never have you down as a weigher. No. As a weigher? As a as someone who weighs. Yeah. <laughs> you are very, very slim. You're very yeah. thin. I, I would put you at about, I don't know, nine stone, four-ish. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're healthier. Nope. No. So we, no. my thing is, don't get obsessed with yeah. a size or a weight. <coughs> just, just think health, about that's health. Why I'm yeah. doing what I'm because doing. because yeah. you know, people, very thin people, can be fat on the inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, well, are I, you I mean, fat on the inside? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I, I, um, I, I, as I've said many times on the show, I've started cycling now, so I'm a bit fitter. But probably, yeah. you know, a year and a half ago. I would re reckon all of you would have been fitter than me. I was yeah. actually seriously unfit. My, my yeah. cardiovascular was appalling. So I might look slim, but yeah. I'm not, I wasn't fit. I'm yeah. a bit fitter now. Yeah. But I think you're right. I think as a society, we should concentrate more, particularly with young girls, like this young lady, Gemma Atkinson. Yeah. It's not about what you weigh or what your shape is. It's about your fitness. physical fitness. Yeah. She's 11 stone of power. I did celebrity Absolutely. chase with her a few weeks ago. I was like, I couldn't concentrate, so I was just looking at her body. She's Brilliant She's so arms. strong. And she's so really muscular. Fit. And yet she could be called overweight at 11 stone. Yeah. So it's all just a do you, do you actually know what you weigh? Because what made me I laugh don't. was you said, you were weighed when you were pregnant. H how old? <laughs> 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 Exactly. Do, well, do you want to weigh yourself today? Yeah, I don't mind. Is anyone going to do it with me? Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I've been humiliated enough on this show. <laughs> I'll take the go. Go. <laughs> Know is what you all think. You thought I was what? Nine. It's interesting you've taken your shoes off. Nine it four. It means something to you, Jack. Well, no, only because of the because of the heels. Oh, I reckon you're nine See, stone. Look at her. I think she's about eight and a half stone. Nine no. stone six top. Yeah. Nine six. Eight. Uh, yeah, nine. nine and a half, something like that. That's what I think. I think I'm about ten. Right. Here we go. There you are. 
I'm nearly nine right. 11. Nine, eleven and a quarter. Yeah. Oh. Do you know what? Do you know what? Right, is there, so any... nearly is there anyone around the back? Can I have a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> a hammer oh, yeah, and a bag. Yeah. Oh, they're behind you. Look, look, look. Oh, thank you, darling. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you... any, any women at home want to join me? Because <laughs> these are actually mine. That's bring mine in today. That's it. Therapy for today. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she really oh, hates good. them. You really hate those girls. <laughs> well, you know, nah. she said, "Has anyone got a hammer?" She said, "Oh, I'm 9/11. Has anyone got a hammer?" I thought, "Wow." <laughs> that was... <laughs> Do you know when they came with a the clear plastic bag? That's... You see that in film? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so angry. She <laughs> can't help it. She's naturally thin. For more loose women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content. But me and PE was the nightmare. Oh. I'd, be like, I'd be hanging on the bottom of that rope. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely sure there was no way I was going to even be able to... And then I'd be looking at the horse and thinking, there's no way I'm going to get...